friends in this video we are going to fix any kind of audio video out of sync issues i mean any kind of out of sync issues whereby the audio is not playing in tandem with the video like you can see here welcome to your third normal form so third normal form in order to get there you have to first do first normal form and second normal form so it's kind of like a lag before we fix the problem it is important for us to understand how the video is recorded I may not be technically very precise here but for a layman I would hopefully make a lot of sense a video is nothing but a series of photographs a series of images and they are called frames thus a video with 17 fps means 17 photos per second okay now the question comes why does this sync issue occur where the video and the audio are not in sync with each other so in order to understand this Uh, let's consider that we have a video which is recorded with 17 fps and we are using a software to process and edit the video and that particular software has a setting of 30 fps for the output you know which is the processed video that means that our software is going to add 13 additional processed images to those 17 fps images and you know the end result would be 17 plus 13 equal to 30 fps frames per second in the final video that we will get the processed video that we are going to get so if you talk about a given point of time where a particular audio was coming in sync with the 13th frame okay this is just for an example but now after the post processing the same audio will now coincide with the 25th frame instead of the 13th frame because earlier the video just had 17 frames and now the edited video has 30 frames this is what results in the audio video mismatch likewise when you are trying to club multiple videos some with 17 fps some with 23 fps some with 30 fps so the resultant video would be of a particular fps which will not be the same as all the three right it has to be one of the three or you know something else to add to the trouble friends there is something called as variant fps which means the frames per second of the same video keeps on changing over time so primarily these changing of the fps in the resulted modified processed video is what makes the audio go out of sync with the video uh, in adobe after effects adobe premiere and final cut pro there are so many softwares whereby solutions are being proposed you know how do you go ahead and fix this but frankly i found them too trivial and too difficult to understand so friends one of the quickest and the most reliable way of fixing this uh, audio video sync issue is by using one of the freeware softwares i was able to find and it is called handbrake now this handbrake software which is freeware is about 16 mb in size so it's not very heavy uh, you can easily download and use it um and what you see here friends is two video files so for example if i want to merge both of them add both both of them and the resultant video is definitely going to go out of sync i'll tell you the reason the first video which is a 3gp probably shot with a different device and this second video shot with a different device and now you want to club both of them together if you go to properties and if you go to details uh, you'll see the frame rate it says 17 frames per second now um let's go to the mp4 and you go to the properties again go to the details and you see 29 frames per second so the resultant video would either be 17 frames per second if that is the case there will be a lot of frames a lot of photos per second which will be dropped from this video this mp4 because this is 29 it will it will be reduced to 17 so again there will be an audio vid video mismatch that is going to happen sync issue and likewise if you are going to choose 29 frames per second 30 frames per second uh the uh, there will be additional you know frames of photos that would be merged uh in uh, the 3gp video format which has just 17 so 17 probably 13 would make it 30 so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this particular software and i'll show you how this would very easily and very quickly fix the particular problem you i'm launching the handbrake freeware software and uh, you go and click on the source you click on the file you want to open and you want to open the uh, 3gp first so this is 17 frames per second you can look at the resolution you can change it but here is the important point i want to, you guys to understand go to the video section container is mp4 that's fine you can use any one you, you like um if you want this 
quality of the video to remain you know more or less the same then instead of constant quality 20 just change this value to 19 okay here this would give you more or less the same sort of the quality in the output video point number one point number two you see variable frame rate which i explained to you earlier so we do not want variable frame rate okay we want constant frame rate and that is how we're going to convert this and what are the number of frames uh, that you would like uh, to have is uh, something you can specify uh, same as source no because if it's going to be same as source one would be again 17 the other would be 29 so let's make them you know uh, both the same so let's choose the higher value 29.97 this is more or less the standard okay so you choose this and then you choose browse and choose the destination uh, whatever name dot mp4 hello or probably part one dot mp4 makes sense and just say start so you see it is processing you have selected constant frame rate here going back part one dot mp4 is getting generated i will show you the details of the of this particular output okay it's finished right click properties go to details and you see 29 frames instead so of 17 now it's showing 29 so this is 29 you can you can go ahead and you know process this although it is 29 you can just again go ahead and make it 29 uh, because okay he, he, here's a good question if this is already 29 frames per second uh, like we saw earlier you see 29 why do you want to use this software uh, handbrake and again just choose 29.97 when it is already uh, remember i told you something about the uh, variable frame rate so although it shows 29 here maybe uh, it is the variable frame rate so it it does drop somewhere in between but when you select constant frame rate and you select 29 every you know it, it, it becomes constant across so there is no hiccups as such and then you add the output the part one and the output of this is part two into uh, you know any software like um, adobe after effects or whatever you want to use and you would not find the out of sync issue happening because the frame rates of the merging videos of the actual video are now in uh, line okay with each other they both are exactly the same so guys i hope this was helpful and um, if you like um, you know you can share it with your friends and when one very important thing before we leave guys if you guys know uh, if something like this can be done with you know uh, with some other more easily available tool trick up your sleeve please share it in the comment section so that you know we can further help the community um, overcome such issues thank you so much for your time and i wish you have a good day